over here and I go right to group blog and I am now in group blog. So that just happened mm, yesterday or the day before. So I'm really, uh, I don't know if I'm excited about it, but I'm grateful for it. Okay, so here is where we go for creating a blog. And obviously I have a couple here. I really don't use blog. Um, I should, but I don't. And so obviously the first thing we're going to do is do new blog. We're going to call this Larry's blog because that's what he's the one who asked for it. I'm going to call it Larry blog. Let's see if there's any of those at, the, at groupblog.com. This, by the way, this subdomain again is like the Groove Cell subdomain where it's it's the subdomain that is being shared with everybody in the group system. So if it doesn't work, it's because somebody already used that. But let's see. Look at that. Nobody used Larry blog. Now, Larry, I took your, your blog subdomain. You won't be able to use that. Sorry about that. Okay, so it comes up with these default posts uh, already in here, uh, which we're going to delete. It also comes up with these menu items up here, software, solutions, about us, get started for free. We're going to look at all of that. It has this logo, groovy, right? So we're going to begin by going to the settings. And I would ignore this for right now. Uh, ignore this first tab. Also on domains, if you have a domain set up that can be used with blog, you can use it here. But that has to be set up in the domain settings, which I'm not going to cover today. Obviously, you can change your logo. So I'm going to go ahead and change the logo. I'll put this one in. All right. Now it has my logo. Save that. You can change the favicon. You can put your social links in here. So this would be HTTPS, Facebook.com slash your best groove. That would be my Facebook main page. And you can choose the icon and say Facebook. Every one of these you want. So that saves the Facebook link will show up. Uh, this is for um, Facebook comments. I'm going to skip that. I'm going to skip the forms. Copyright, obviously, you can change it to yours. Um, and I'm skipping open graph is when it's shared. I'm trying to make this quick instead of all of the options. Okay, so all I did right here is I, I have the subdomain. You can change that, by the way. Um, and I changed the logo. So that's the first thing. I did on settings. So that's the main settings of the blog. So the second thing we want to look at is we're going to go home again. Whoops, that is not what I meant to do. Let me just real quick. Uh, Larry, you came back. Are you there? I see you're there, but you are frozen again. So, um, Holler at me if you if you get things working. All right. Uh, so let's go to posts. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. Let's go to themes. Let's go to themes. And we can take a look at how to customize the theme so it's more uh, who we are. We can brand it a bit more. So you can customize the theme. And all of your custom options are over here. So we can change the font font size, the body font. We can change the colors of the fonts, the colors of the links. I'm not going to do that at this point, but that's all here on customize the theme. Uh, we can also change the layout. <clears throat> so we have the option to ch show a sidebar or not. And you can see the sidebar. Let's move up there. This is the sidebar. So you can get rid of that or add it. It has sort of a list of posts. Um, we can show categories, categories or don't show categories. And you can see right here on the post itself, these are tips and productivity. And if we remove that, they don't show up. Uh, we can, we can have an opt-in form. This is tied right now to Groove forms, uh, Groove mail forms. So, uh, until Groove mail is working, this is suspect. So you can turn that off. Uh, and you can also show the dates or not show the dates. We can choose how many pit, how many posts, to show and we can put them in a list or a grid or it's called masonry which is kind of they just fit into each other they don't uh, standardize the size so I'm gonna leave it at grid so you can see we have two across there and then it goes down the page so this is the appearance and the layout to customize the theme so I'm gonna save that and I'm gonna go back now and the third thing I'm going to do is customize the navigation. 
So the navigation is the menu that we're going to see at the top of the blog. So right now, let's see. Let's see if let's go back here to the beginning page. And if we go to the blog itself again, you can see latest productivity tips. These are the navigation. These are this right here, the this line, uh, the secondary line. By the way, you see my my logo is showing up there. The secondary line is categories so that people can click specific categories. The top line is the menu, the navigation. So let's go to navigation and you can see that we have software solutions and about us up here. So for example, I could change this to um, uh, Larry's store, right? And I could go to uh, HTTPS your best groove.com, some valid URL and, and and update that and now the menu item up here should say Larry's store it will uh, it will once it refreshes so we can add menu items we can remove menu items groove automatically puts this guest get started for free button on here and that's essentially a way for you to automatically have your affiliate link so that people who want to blog can click on that and with your affiliate link go to the groove uh, to the groove page we can Take a look at that. Get started for free. It's using your affiliate link automatically that's filled in there. So you can turn that off or turn it on. And you can also edit it and make it your own call to action. So download your free gift, right? And then we could put a, a URL in there. And uh, obviously that's not a valid URL. So, to, so it's uh, not liking what we're putting in there. Let's go, let's go, let's switch to categories and back to navigation. Okay, and so we're looking at categories now. Interesting, so it's taking me to categories. I didn't want to go to categories. Let's go to settings and back to navigation. Mm, I may have like totally messed this up by changing that button text because it's not letting me, now it's letting me do navigation again. Uh, let's change this to about anyone, right? So we can just change the navigation buttons to go to different places and the footer navigation. Uh, we'll see community, privacy policy, and reviews, or whatever you want to put in the footer of your blog. So this is where we, and again, we have we have to place the um, the links in here that we want those to go to. So setup is the settings, is the navigation, is the theme, and then we have the categories which we can add to or change. So we have one post on latest and so forth, one on must read right now with the default blog that came up. So we can add a new category and give it a slug. And you can see there, the slug is what's coming here at the end after the blog. So this would be a uh, new cat, whatever. And we can describe it and we can show it in the navigation or not show it in the navigation. So again, that's the secondary menu up there. I'm gonna go ahead and show it and say done. And then the final thing is uh, we're going to, we, we can publish this. So let's click publish. And now we're back here and you can see new category. You can see Larry's store. You can see about anyone and you can see the button is gone. So we changed the way it looks. Now let's go to the posts. Right. And so it comes up, as I said, with all of these default posts, we're going to go ahead and delete them. All right, and one more, delete, yes, delete it. All right, so now let's go to a new post. And this is gonna be initial post for Larry. All right, we can, we can start typing then at this point. This says enter description, but it's actually where we start typing, uh, adding text. So all, all along here is we can, 
let's see where let's go to blog groove funnels just so we have something to work with here we'll go grab we're going to create this blog okay so this is the title organic social media here let's just create it let's go over here let's call it this i tried to join you live but was unable to figure out access streamyard Safari. Probably, uh, Lynn, what you need to do is do it in um, Chrome. Try it in Chrome and see if that works. Okay, so we just got that title. Um, there's a nice picture. We're going to download that picture. Uh, again, don't do this. Don't copy somebody else's blog. I'm just doing this as an example so you can see what it looks like. And so at the top of their blog, they have a picture, right? So we're going to go over here and we're going to click the plus and we can do an image, a video file or embed code. I'm going to do image. I'm going to have to upload this new image, which is in my downloads. And select it. There we go. So we've added the image to our blog. Uh, let's go over here as well. All right. So let's just, I'm just going to copy a bunch of, well, actually, yeah, I'll just copy a bunch of text here. Um, this would be obviously what you'd be typing. I'm just going to paste it in. Okay, so we just type our text in. Uh, if we want to add a video, we do plus. We go to video player. So you can post, paste a Groove video, YouTube, or Vimeo link and press enter. So let's go. For fun, let's go grab a Groove video I have out there. Here, go to Groove video. Thank you again, Groove, for fixing your menu. It's so much better. Uh, I want to make sure I'm not missing Lynn if she's trying to get into the stream. Still not there. Okay. So, um, yeah, we were adding a video. Groove video library. <clears throat> bunch of videos. Uh, let's do, we'll do Martin's webinar. We're going to do get video and we are going to do video hosted page. I think I'm not sure which link we want to use here. So let's try this one copy and we're going to paste it in there and press enter. Did not work. Uh, let's, Get rid of that because that did not work. Let's do it again and try. Whoops. That's an image. My bad. Let's try again. It says paste a Groove video, YouTube or Vimeo video link. Okay. So let's try the other video link. Video hosted. Let's try this one. Copy. And enter. There we go. So that link brings your Groove video onto your page. And obviously you could do it with YouTube videos, uh, as it said. You can also put embed code in here, uh, which would be another way of adding the video. But there you go. You can add a video to it. So now we have, you know, sort of a blog post prepped. So we have some settings that we can work on the blog post itself. So we have our basic post ready. We go to settings. So we can do a featured image. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab that same in image and feature it. Uh, we have the slug, what the name of the uh, actual post is going to be. You can see here it's going to be larryblog.grooveblog.com slash post slash organic social media marketing in three steps. Uh, publish date, you can backdate here, by the way. So if you want to go back, you can do that. Let's say that it happened. Whoops. Oops, let's go December 8th of 2020 at 1030. Uh, we can choose the category, which again, we set up earlier, or you can add a new category here. We can put keywords in it for search. We can put an excerpt. So let's say, right, an excerpt is this. Uh, we can add it to a scrolling carousel. We can show it on the homepage or not show it on the homepage. And we can allow comments or not allow comments. And then the rest of it we have is metadata. So this is where we're going to put the keywords for SEO so that people can find our blog. 
we have open graph, which graph, which is is what's going to be showing on Facebook. Again, the image and the text that's going to show on Facebook or, so, or Twitter or any social media when you share the link. So you can add all of that. All right. So those are the settings that we can use for the post itself. So let's preview this and see if we like it. And the preview is not working. This is the great thing about live demos. Let's go ahead then and publish it. See what happens. So I have it published twice. I'm going to save the draft. Okay, none of these buttons are working for me. And I hope this isn't just a, a bug for blog because I was publishing someone else's blog yesterday and it worked fine. Um, you know what I think the I think the problem is. I think the problem, this is interesting that the post slug, I noticed that it had spaces in here. I'm going to just put underlines in there and see if that will take care of it. That to me looks like a, a bug. It may be because I, I pasted that in from Groove and we'll test that in a bit. Simple steps. All right, let's see if that, oh, sorry if that fixes it. So let's do publish now. Nope. Save draft. Nope. Preview. Still not. It's working on it. Yeah, see, it's still not showing the post. Well, welcome to the world of beta demo, right? So I'm just going to exit and probably lose all of this work. No, I want to save it. You currently don't have any pay posts added. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Instead of copying stuff in, let's do Larry's oops, stuff. All right, let's give a description. Let's go add uh, an image again. We'll just grab this one. We're going to create one that's clean instead of copying and pasting. Uh, and text goes here right and now let's preview this yep so it was because i copied some stuff and it didn't come in correctly there you can see so the post is created right and we have new category must read and must read and so forth so we can see what it's going to look like we can publish it post publishing process that's just like we would have um i'm going to save my changes on my way out so now we can see this uh, actual post is ready. So let's let's do this. Um, let's go back to the home page. And now let's go. I want to visit the blog. There we go. From the from the main page of the blog, you have this visit blog. So it should be Larry blog dot groove blog dot com. OK, and it has uh, Larry's stuff. I'm not sure what this is. That doesn't look correct. But this does, right? Oh, uh, I know. I didn't put the image on it. Let's go back. Let's go back and let's go to the posts again. You remember it has the settings over here. I didn't mess with the settings. So let's choose an image uh, and put it in as the featured image. And you can see, see this. It says Larry's dash stuff. That's what the slug should have looked like, and that's what was causing us a problem. Uh, okay, great. Um, Larry has a great question. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and publish this with the new image, and then when we go to Larry blog, there we go. All right, let's go. <clears throat> There we go. The correct image is there now. So that's how you add posts, categories, set up your uh, the look and feel. So then Larry said on Facebook, can we use custom site instead of Groove's subdomain? So yes. So let's go do that. Let's exit this and save our changes. 
And let's go then to domains, my account. Let's go to domains. I'm going to go look at my custom domains. And we're going to choose one of these. Uh, sure, make someone happy dot store. I think, no, I need one that is actually connected the new way. Um, okay, grooveassistant.com is, is a new domain I just put out there, and it has the... Um, the groove. I, I have seven bonuses right now for people that purchase with my link and it has all those bonuses listed. But let's go to groove blog and let's make a subdomain available for blog. So blog is going to be the subdomain. Okay. And so now we have blog.grooveassistant.com available for groove blog. And that's how we, that's how we, um, make that available. So let's go back again to our blog list and we're going to go to edit and we're going to go to settings and domains. So now we should be able to drop this down and Groove Assistant is now available for this blog. So we click on that and what's the location? It's going to be a subdomain. And what's the subdomain? It's blog.grooveassistant.com. I can save this. And now let's go back to publish. All right. And we're going to publish it. And so we should be able to go to blog.grooveassistant.com. And the blog should be there. It is not yet. Let's go take another look. Maybe I didn't type that in correctly. Let's go visit blog. Okay. So it has this V27 on it. I do not know why that's there. But let's put the slash behind it and see if that works. Yep, the slash behind it worked. So blog.grooveassistant.com. So now it's posted on my custom domain. Hope that answers your question, Larry.